Welcome back again. I'm Kanisha. And I'm Sylvia. And this is another video from Women Work Your Faith. If this is your first time here, please remember to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay connected with the good information that we provide each week. And I'm Stanley May, pastor of St. John's Church of God in Christ here in Louisville, Kentucky. Glad to be with you. Uh, as women work your faith, we have some questions or have had some questions concerning what type of Bible should I buy and how will I know what to buy. Today we're going to introduce you to some translations of Bibles so that you can have a clearer understanding of how to spend your money. Happy honey. God bless you. As we are looking at different um, Bible translations, someone may ask, how do Bibles come into being? Well, the first uh, King James Version Bible was uh, done by uh, a brother Tyndale, and he was martyred for translating the Bible into the English language. Uh, many Bibles come about by scholars and pastors getting together and first of all deciding uh, what needs to be different in the new Bible that they're going to produce. And after they produce that and get together, and sometimes it can take not only months, but it can take years to form a new Bible type. Then they have to have someone that's going to produce that. That's why on the spine of your Bibles, you will see who is the printer and the producer of the Bible. As we move on to your American Translation Bibles, uh, one of the most popular uh, Bibles in the American uh, language is the NASB, which is the New American Standard Bible. And some of you probably already have an NIV Bible, which is the New International Version. The thing about these different Bibles are, sometimes an English uh, translated Bible will translate words but sometimes they will translate phrases, what the particular uh, verse is trying to say. Uh, again, the one thing you want to understand is that uh, knowledge and God's revelatory uh, knowledge are two different things. You want revelation of the Bible, not just knowledge. Amen. So I want to read a couple verses to you as we left off with our King James Version and our New King James Version. I want to read the same scripture from Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 from the New International Version. And it reads, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Now, some of us may understand that a little bit better because it is in our language. Uh, let's go with what the Message Bible would say. And this is another translation that translates phrases. Uh, Philippians 4 and 6 in the Message Bible reads, Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. So we have to understand that whatever church that we're in, whatever teaching that we're under, uh, we have to fall up under the translations that they use. But even if they're using a translation that you don't understand, your translation should match the thought process that that verse is saying. Again, happy hunting, and God bless you. Now, if this is your first time tuning in and your first time seeing Pastor May with us, we want you to go down to the description box and check out part one, because this is part two. So we want you to get the full story, not just half of it. So the link will be in the description box below. We want to thank you all for joining us. We hope that the information you heard today was helpful in your Bible search. I know um, as a younger person trying to read the Bible, I didn't know that a lot of things went into um, learning the Word of God. And so I was blessed to have a pastor that taught us not only to live for God, but how to study Him and to learn Him. 
And so make sure that if you have any questions, put it in the comments below and we will forward them to Pastor May to answer if you like. Thanks again for joining us. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and we will see you again next week. That was good. <laughs> That was, was that good. Tone? We can find an <laughs> alphabet to work for you. That's good. That's good. You all are quite animated. <laughs>